Hey Cricut Crafters, today we're talking transfer tape. My favorite, what it's used for, which ones are a flop. We're gonna be debunking some transfer tape myths and we're gonna be talking about some really great dupes when you're in a crafty pinch. My name's Shay and I teach all things Cricut here on the channel, Cricut business, Cricut tutorials, and so much more. So if that interests you, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button, stick around, and today we're talking about transfer tape. So to start off with, what is transfer tape? When you're using a vinyl such as permanent adhesive vinyl or removable adhesive vinyl, you need something that quite literally transfers the decal from the backing that it's cut on to move the vinyl and put it onto whatever you're adhering it to, whether it's directly on your Cricut, the wall, your car, whatever it is. So that is going to be normally that transparent sheet and it's essentially a carrier sheet. So you're going to apply it on there, move it, and then you remove it after it's on your, you know, whatever you're gonna put your decal. So that's what transfer tape is used for. And now let's get into the best ones to use, the ones that I love to use. The first is my tried and true method, and this is contact paper. You can pretty much get this anywhere. Walmart, the Dollar Tree, Amazon, like contact paper is all over the place, shelf liner, that kind of thing, and it works great if you can find one that is transparent. Like I use the Duck brand off of Amazon. If I can find it, I will put it here so you can see the price and everything, and the price is in Canadian dollars, just so you know. I'm in Canada. <laughs> so what we're gonna do here is we are actually making a cup. And I'm going to be trying different methods and types of transfer tape, showing you different tips and tricks for each one, because maybe you use the Cricut brand or, you know, whatever little hack you're using. And then we're going to go from there. So for this very first layer, you saw I just peeled up a fresh new piece. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and just stick it right on where I'm going to transfer first. So you can see I rubbed it a little bit and it peeled right up. So you saw that. Now we're going to just stick it right on there, like so. Go ahead, I like to use my hand for it, but that is honestly a personal preference. So go ahead, use your scraper tool if you want, you know, whatever. I like to use my hand on things like mugs. And like I said, you can reuse this piece, so we'll come back later and reuse this piece in a bit. Okay, so we're just gonna pull it right up. A little piece came up, but that's okay. No pain, no gain, baby. As you saw, that piece kind of how it worked we'll come back to it but to reuse it just stick it down on the piece of paper the protective little sheet and you're good to go the reason i love this one so much is because it has the grid lines it's transparent you can reuse it pretty much as much as you want until it doesn't get stick anymore which i love and also on top of that it's really affordable i like how it's a really good grip so it doesn't just hold your decal so tight that you can't get it off but it lifts nicely it's pretty flexible but also holds the shape of your decal as you're transferring it so all around that's what i look for in a type of transfer tape and that's why i recommend it all the time to you now method number two is going to be how we're debunking the myth of the Cricut transfer tape that everyone talks about, okay? So, Cricut transfer tape. Is it a flop or not? I feel like a lot of Cricut crafters would say that it's a flop, but I have some things to tell you about it. The reason why I personally actually like it as my runner up for my top transfer tape, what types of decals I would use it for and wouldn't, and then methods to avoid the over sticking issue that most crafters have with the Cricut brand transfer tape. I do have two versions of this. The Cricut brand one is this regular one, I guess, transfer tape is what they call like the normal amount of stickiness, but it is super adhesive. So there are little tips and tricks. A lot of people do not like this one. Ooh, a little noisy, sorry. And I'll show you why. But I personally love it for things like larger decals, which you'll see for the offsets. This is gonna work great. It is super sticky. So go ahead and stick it down on your pants first, you know, your mat, whatever you need to get it done. But that is awesome. They also have a strong grip one, but honestly, Unless you're doing something like, I don't know, I guess certain things you would use it, but I highly recommend this one if you're going with the Cricut brand. So go ahead and cut out the size that you need. I love that it has the grid as well, and it is a really nice quality one. So if I'm doing anything like a vinyl wrap on some type of mug or tumbler, I highly recommend the Cricut brand one because it doesn't fold when you're doing a full wrap of something. So it's not going to get the vinyl to stick to itself, which I love. So now that we have the Cricut one, we're going to go ahead and I'm honestly just going to stick it down on my shirt first. You do whatever you want. Do it a couple times if you need. 
This is going to make it less sticky and I highly recommend it. It has like that little fibers for my shirt on there. That's fine. So go ahead and you're going to, honestly, you don't need to do much with the Cricut brand one. It's just going to peel right up there. But there we go. It peels up really nicely. Do our little layer. So cute. Go ahead and use your scraper. Peel it up. Awesome. Now we're ready to transfer it. Go ahead and push it down like so. You're going to want to go in with your hand as well as your scraper because it's going to be on there really good. Like <laughs> the vinyl sticks to this transfer tape like a charm, which is amazing, but it can be hard to pull up at times. So let's see if it'll pull up easily. Okay, not bad. See, I stuck it down on my pants first, so it did make it a little easier for me. Again, you can reuse it, just stick it back on the little protective sheet. And now that you've already used it, it's less sticky. So it's great for those projects. Now, if I wanted to do a type of decal like these ones here, that would work amazingly. Of course, as always, all the links for the craft supplies mentioned in this video will be down below, except for the ones that are from like the Dollar Tree and stuff like that. But if I can find it, I will link it for you to make it easier, put the name in there, just make it easier for everyone all around. So the last one I wanted to talk about today is a category which I'm going to call dupes for when you're in a crafty pinch. And I feel like we've all been there. We've been like, oh my gosh, we're out of transfer tape. Maybe you need just a little piece. You don't quite have that shape or, you know, whatever it is, your order from Amazon is a day late and you just need to get this project done. I mean, I've been there even with my Cricut business. So yeah, guilty, guilty. To briefly let you know which options we're gonna be talking about, you have a ton of options like lint roller, painter's tape, scotch tape, you can even use Glad Wrap Press and Seal. And I'm going to show you how to do all of these, the pros and cons of some of them, and how to avoid certain things that might happen if you need to use some of those options. So let's dive into that part. But here we have some Glad Wrap Press and Seal. And with the Glad Wrap Press and Seal, it does sometimes leave a little bit of a residue that you can see on your vinyl. And there are ways to remove that, like rubbing alcohol just lightly over top. You can use sometimes like a baby wipe or some light dish soap and warm water but be careful definitely wait that 24 hours before you do that so that your vinyl can cure otherwise it's just going to peel right back up so go ahead and take as much as you need so i'm just going to quickly cut this out and this is a great hack if you're in a pinch okay so if you are you know maybe financially whatever it is you want to make something fun but you don't want to go out and spend money Maybe your Amazon order hasn't come in yet for your contact paper or a transfer paper, whatever it is, but it works really great for those larger decals. So let's take a look and see how well it does with this one. So go ahead and use your scraper tool. This one you're going to want to really scrape on there. And like I said, make sure you get the Glad Wrap press and seal. That's the, the important part. Don't just get saran wrap, that won't work. Okay, this one's gonna be super flimsy, so I do not recommend this method for any type of cup wrap. So if you're doing an entire wrap, a full decal, anything like that, I don't recommend. This is great for smaller projects, um, little decals, but as you can see, it does actually do a good job at picking up the vinyl and sticking it onto there. Okay, so this one does take a little bit. Like I said, you really have to go in there, but this decal has a lot of tiny little bits for the font. If it's just a solid decal, this method is amazing, which you'll see here. Now that we have it on here, you can see it's right on the Glad Wrap Press and Seal. Awesome, so this one's gonna be easier because now we just have it on the backing, peels right up like a charm, and then you're ready to put it on there. So go ahead and stick that down like so. Go ahead and get it on there. And at this point, it literally just peels right off. It's super simple. I'm going to zoom in here and show you. There is not a sticky residue on it. There's no bumpy residue or anything. It worked really great. But if you do find that that happens, like I said, use a little bit of dish soap, warm water, rubbing alcohol, whatever you need. Just wait the 24 hours minimum for it to cure. I would wait even longer. And no, you do not need to seal these tumblers. If you ask personal preference, you do not have to. So I don't have painter's tape. So we're going to try the transparent tape here. And we're also going to try the lint roller. So, so of course, the lint roller is going to be very sticky. So go ahead and roll it on your shirt first. You know, give your shirt a nice little lint roll. Clean off any of those fluffs you don't want on there. Perfect. Now that my shirt is good to go, I'm going to do my pants too while I'm at it. Because, you know, your girl got some lint on there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is stick it onto this piece and see if I can just pull it up that way. So I'm going to use my scraper to get it on there. 
and we'll see. So it's on there fairly quickly, you can see. Now the fun part is trying to line it up because it is not transparent. So this method is kind of annoying if you are layering vinyl because you cannot see through it, but as you can see, it's just peeling on there, off of there, sorry. So it did transfer very nicely. It did a good job at the transfer and all of that stuff, but as you can see, it's really hard to line it up properly which could be like an issue down the road. So the next thing we're gonna be using is the masking tape. So go ahead and again, you might wanna stick this down onto something first. See the trend here, make it a little less sticky. Put it over top of your decal that you want to pick up. I'm just gonna use my fingers, then pull it up. It's really great for this, but remember painter's tape is not see-through. Not transparent so if you want to layer anything it might be a little trickier so it's on the tape again this is more if you're in a pinch you can't run to the craft store what are you gonna do well here Shay's got your back we have some fun little easy tips for you so and again I was able to line it up really nicely go ahead and put it on there and honestly out of all the little hacks that I just showed you besides the actual transfer tape and the contact paper I would suggest this method it was super easy I can see through it and it just worked really great. So I'm gonna actually try it for this pumpkin as well. And there we go. Now you have your layered vinyl project. We saw exactly the ways and the methods you can use to do it. And um, like, hello, just so cute. So what method is your favorite or what do you like to use? Let us know in the comments down below because I love to share Cricut tips with all of you and I'm sure you love to hear even more. There you have your dupes, your flops, and you're not for Cricut transfer tape and the whole Cricut transfer tape method for transferring permanent adhesive vinyl. So I hope that helps. I will see you all in the next one and don't forget to check out this video here and here next for more Cricut crafty fun. Bye for now.